in Springfield at 6. This is KRIP TV 13. Broadcasting live from atop Hangman Alley Hill. Going green with battery powered wind up 5 watt transmitter. With Greg Ship at the controls and I'm Peter McDermott. This is Springfield News at 6. Okay, we're going to go right to Peter uh, because we have an update on the storm we talked about yesterday. And I understand you might have information on another storm developing in these United States. We're going to cut to Peter McDermott. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Craig. Uh, as we look into uh, Canada here, we can see uh, there is a storm developing uh, in Canada. Uh, just uh, a little bit to the uh, southeast of uh, Regina and Saskatoon. Now, what this will mean for the Regina area is lots and lots of rain. If you're watching in the U.S., we will have the U.S. weather reports later at 11. Craig, back to you. Now, I understand and, uh, that it's possible that this has never happened before, but as I understand that a disturbance like this could actually develop into a hurricane, even though it's inland. Uh, actually, I'm not sure who told you that, Craig. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Okay. That, that is incorrect. Well, That's I'll, I'll correct. check my check my sources. No, no hurricane there. All right. What we're going to do, we do have breaking news tonight, and I'm going to switch directly to Brad, our technology correspondent. We usually cut to him later in the broadcast, but this is earth-shaking news that Brad has an exclusive on. We want to yes, get that out do. to our viewers. Go ahead, Brad. We do have a flying car for sale at Walmart for $499. Go buy one right now. An actual flying car that that people can ride in. Yeah, they you can it takes uh, by solar power too. So and uh, I think so it has a, a photo of it too. I think nearby. A solar powered flying car, and we have exclusive. Now is this photo. confirmed? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is confirmed. Okay, yeah. and Troy, I understand you have some sources on this story as well. Yes, I do. I have incredible sources. Uh, recently, childhood character Dora the Explorer was was caught actually flying in one of these uh, flying cars. Okay. Well, that is significant. Peter, uh, since you're a meteorologist, can you address the, the issues that people might have in traveling in the air as opposed to down on the, on the ground? Uh, yes, Craig. Shock absorbers will be a big issue as you hit the upper air disturbances flying uh, through the jet stream, crossing the region of the 7,000 uh, altimeter mark in the uh, feet above sea level. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the previous car, this is one that was sold by uh, Kmart just a number of years ago. There was a problem with this car where the car did fall off uh, from the actual uh, airframe structure. That was due to the turbulence it encountered. So oh, some geez. strong shock shock absorbers, okay. making sure you have enough thread in your tire. That's very important in uh, these flying cars due to the upper air disturbance. Okay, so we're going to cut now to, to Glenn and try to get some more details on this. More details are coming in by the minute. This is breaking news. We, we just got this confirmed before we went on the air. So what other details do you have, Glenn? Well, I, I can tell you that the flying car is called the Transition Rotable Light Sport Aircraft. It's said to go about uh, 65 miles per hour on the road. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're kind of shaky on the details, but uh, it's rumored that it's six feet uh, up in the air. And um, I, I can't confirm that. Okay, yes, I can confirm that. <laughs> about six feet. So, six uh, feet in the air. So low-flying planes, that sort of thing, you really don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that is very interesting news. Um, but, now, uh, now, will it fly uh, and higher? Watching, you know, any, anybody with antennas, anything like that, you might want to, um, I don't know, duck uh, if you see one of these experimental cars flying by. W will it fly at a higher altitude if needed, if there's, for example, a tree in the way or something? Yeah, I also uh, would like to. Uh, I just got. Oh, I just got one report in that the uh, the four ninety nine that you can pay at the Walmart. Mm -hmm. If you have coupons, you can get at least fifteen percent off. Wow. Okay, we're gonna cut to Monica and try to get get her view on. That's all I have at this time. And Monica's our, our yeah. legal correspondent, and try to get her view on the various liability issues and and other issues that might come up with a, a brand new product like this. 
That's correct. And uh, breaking news has just come in today that says the um, the TSA has actually announced plans that um, there will need to be one agent issued per household that has a car. So this causes a few legal issues and uh, personal privacy issues because it's so difficult to get your own full body scanner to fit in your garage. How are we going to manage that? So we're going to have to have a full a full body scanner for people? Full body scanner, full pat down before every flight. It's the only oh, because way it's considered to you're 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 considered flying. I, yes. I didn't I didn't even think of that. It, see, this is why we have a legal correspondent to, to address these issues. Now it looks like Peter has some more details. Before we go to our first commercial break, uh, what do you have up on the screen there, Peter? Uh, we're just looking at some of the uh, the images of the full body scanners. Uh, as you can see, this one here. Uh, this is a full body, and it is being scanned. So this is uh, what you will have uh, inside your home here shortly, according to the TSA, one of these uh, full body scans. Okay. Well, we do want uh, we do want safety. So above all, we, we do need safety. So we're going to go to our first commercial break of the night. Troy, uh, you're up. Yes, and uh, the following has been presented to you by uh, Carpet Cleaners, Inc. Uh, car cleaning carpets since Inc. was created. Okay, there we go, carpet cleaners. And we're going to switch back to Brad. It looks like he does have some more breaking news on the flying car. Uh, yeah, there is some pretty cool technology in the plane, in the car too. You can you can uh, make it fly without any, any fuel, which is pretty cool. No, solar powered, no fuel. Solar power, yeah. Well, that's, that's going to solve it. a lot of the, the country's problems. We don't have to worry about building big roads that are expensive and... Don't have to worry about fuel. This is this and is. And you don't really, need a license either to fly it ever. No, li fly, a bomb, no uh, license. license. Is it is it no. GPS guided? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. And and, it's and got a will the, will the iPhone seven be able to operate as a controller as well? I heard a rumor on that earlier. That today. is correct. That is correct. You got you hit the nail on the head there, uh, Craig. It's that's so true, mate. You're not wrong there. So iPhone true, seven is a controller. All right. Well, yes. we're gonna sw we're gonna switch back. Troy, you can run the next commercial break. Great. Uh, so, our final sponsor has been provided to you by Coca Cola, presenting you their new product called Cocaine Plus. <laughs> they they put the cocaine back in Coca Cola. They put the cocaine back into Coca Cola. This, as a, this is a this is even final, more breaking news now. Yes, it's it's actually. Um, kind of competes with our flying car story, but it's just a commercial. Well, getting you high. Absolutely. All right, we're going to yes. go back to we're going to go back to Peter because it, it looks like Peter does have some more updates. Uh, yes, uh, cocaine is a crystalline uh, tropane alkaloid that is obtained from the leaves of the cocoa plant. The name comes from uh, caca. In addition to the uh, alkaloid suffix ine, uh, forming cocaine, it's a stimulant and uh, in of the central nervous system and it's also used as an appetite suppressant okay and uh and glenn uh you have a report from the live remote that we excuse me uh, that you yeah, that sorry. live re remote that we are doing down at the pizza joint do, do you have a report from from there yeah actually i was talking to some uh, officials about the the flying car it seems to be a, a big talk a big uh around here um they said that the solar power is going to work great except for cloudy days. An official says, quote, it might drop like a rock if, uh, if there are any clouds in the, uh, in the area. So uh, you might want to be advised of that. Oh, my goodness. That, that would be a little tricky. So I guess you want to fly away from crowds, clouds for sure. Well they, well, they didn't specify what type of rock. Um, it could be basalt. It could be uh, any of those. Uh, it could be granite. Um, we're kind of sketchy on the details of that one. Oh, well, you have more details on that at eleven. Absolutely. Okay, good. Uh, and now, can you give us that report from uh, uh, Joe's Pizza Joint? Uh, I understand there's a, a live remote going on down there. I know we we haven't been able to cut to there because of this breaking news. But can you ha do you have a report as far as how many people have showed up there and? How many pizzas uh, they've they've given away so far? Um, so far, they've given away. Um, let's well, I guess we have a total here of three. Um, we're expecting Was that, that we're going to be pizza slices or 
three pizzas. Well, actually, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah, three three slices if you want to get oh, technical. three slices of pizza. Okay, three and slices. How, how many people showed up? Um, well, I, I you know a head count pretty much tells me about ten. Ten people for three pieces of pizza. Yeah, and um, they have forks, so that's not a problem anymore. So what, um, I mean, what was why did why didn't they eat more pizza? What wasn't the pizza any good? Well, you know, you really have to you have to you, know, you what kind of what is your definition of good? Because a lot of people around here they're kind of uh, putting together their own definitions of good. Okay. Um, well, maybe you yeah. can get some more details for us on that at, at 11 o'clock. That sounds like a very sure. successful remote broadcast down there at, at uh, Joe's Pizza Joint. Yeah, so anybody want any breadsticks? We're going to cut now to, to Peter and see what's going Woo! on. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Cocaine! So you're getting... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, oh my goodness. So is that the way you would fly? You'd kind of bundle yourself up like that to, Wait, for the flying no, car? Or? Yeah, it's very important that you strap in, and, and once you get strapped into the device, you should probably put a safety harness or restraint of some sort in, and as you're propulsed through the air, you're less likely to get dislodged. This contraption here keeps the goggles on my face to prevent the, the wind from going into my eyes. Okay, well that's... Yes. You're, you look like you're ready to go then. Uh, you'll probably We're be ready to fly. Brad, are you going to buy me one of these cars? It's time to go. Now... Now, uh, Troy, can we can we can we, sure can, could, uh, can we get uh, Troy? Can we get a report on the lines at uh, Walmart? That I understand there are lines already forming since we broke this news. Um, yes, at the that's Walmart. right. The lines are forming uh, for the new product, Co mm -hmm. Cocaine Plus. Um, the lines are forming as we speak. Is it Cocaine Plus they're looking for, or the flying car? Oh, wait, what lines are you talking about? At at Walmart. Right. No, at Walmart, the flying cars. Yes. Okay. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, actually, I just got word that Monica had some pressing news, some legal news. Is that correct? Uh, okay, a legal I, update. Is that I what do. I'm going to We're switching to Monica. Well, uh, breaking news has just entered the, the fray. Uh, uh, the corpse of Orville Wright has sued uh, to challenge the patent of the flying car. Um, so he will be making an appearance, or rather his corpse will be making an appearance in court tomorrow. We'll see if Walmart is able to handle this challenge. Is um, is this precedented? Is this something that's happened before? Yeah, actually, it did happen last year around this time. The corpse of um, his brother actually <laughs> rose up, uh, but he was unfortunately killed by some kids who thought he was a zombie. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. That'll happen. All right. So I'm sure you'll have a full report for us at the noon hour tomorrow. Then I will. On, on that. I will. I'm, I hope to actually have an interview. Okay, we're gonna course. we're gonna switch back to Brad because it seems like he's got some more details on the technology behind this device. Uh, yeah, uh, more update. We just added in a CB radio into the uh, into the plane as well, and also a radio for music. For so, free. so there's going to be a CB radio. Yes, that, that is correct. Okay, and two seater, so two people can actually drive it at the same time. So it's a it's a it's a two seater. the The base model is a two seater. That is correct. Okay. And do you have information, uh, uh, Craig? Yeah, we're going to switch to Go Glenn. Ahead. Glenn has some more details. Go ahead, Glenn. I have some breaking news. Um, I believe that Peter is in fact uh, flipping out. Um, it looks like he's wrapping things around his head. Uh, right. Okay, he's wrapping things around his microphone. All right, we'll switch to Peter and see um, what's going on there in, in the studio. No, no, okay. everything's fine he's here. Looking we're, we're good. Good. He's looking pretty yeah, good. He's looking pretty good now. The, the Coke. We're sponsored by Coke. If you if you haven't had a chance to, to check out a Coke, it's a it's a great product. Coke. You, you, you can do the lines just like the lines waiting outside Walmart to get the flying car. The Coke, it's really good stuff. You got to try it. It's very stimulating. It's a very stimulating thing. Well, this will definitely speed it, up it, our broadcast. It's so nice of them to, 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 to be out uh, here. Sounds like, drink sounds, like, sounds like that should become, uh, Glenn, sounds like that should become standard operating procedure. It really sped up his report a little bit. We can get more commercials in if we can. Yes, get actually, um, I'm thinking of using it in uh, later broadcasts. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay, and now we have, actually, uh, Monica has a commercial. She's got a new sponsor for the program. 
I do. Um, I actually have found out that um, you will get a free car if you make a purchase of booty shorts at Walmart. Um, however, this I, I must interject that this raises a few ethical issues with me. Okay. I feel, uh, should some people really be buying booty shorts? Uh, that's a good question. Can we get a can we get a picture of of booty shorts up on the screen? Does anybody have a does our do our graphics people? We're working have, on um, it right now. I've got the engineers in uh, control. Okay, they're working, working on it. Here. So yeah, so Peter will let us know when he gets a picture, so we can make a, a determination on that. And, well, since uh, you asked, um, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go, Glenn's. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with the zipper, but uh, oh, okay. uh, I, I think I'll, I'll uh, be able to show you to it at, at uh, 11 o'clock. At the 11 o'clock hour, okay. 11 o'clock, yeah, stay tuned. And, and Troy, did you have any, any comments on that, that issue? On the booty shorts. Yes. Yes, I have many comments on the, the, the issue of booty shorts and the free car. Um, but unfortunately, I have to save them all for the 11 o'clock show because they're That's just too intense for this. 11 o'clock, okay, here we go. We've got a, I a graphic a shot from, from Peter. Yeah. <laughs> what is this you're showing us? Should we? Those are shorts. Is this? Can we show this at the six like o'clock hour? I mean, text. I don't think you can. Okay. Uh, cocaine. Exactly right. <laughs> uh, it looks like the guys in the control room had some problems there. The uh, image they were looking at was uh, apparently slightly inappropriate. Uh, we're slightly inappropriate for viewers. Okay, I see. All right. Well, we'll switch. We'll switch away and we'll switch back to Brad. Uh, Brad actually has a. Uh, a commercial of his own to run this evening. He actually landed a new sponsor, which we desperately need. Um, go, go ahead, Brad. Uh, a new sponsor by uh, a radio station called uh, Pirate FM. Pirate FM is sponsoring us. Okay, it looks like Peter and has a, a, an image up here. Is that the, those are the type of shorts you're talking about? Uh, yes, that's actually the uh, executive producer's uh, daughter. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that's, yep. that's where I've seen her. And, and so what yeah. you're saying is, what you're that's saying just a, is, if, that's a picture of his cell phone. He's just holding it up in the control room. What you're saying is, if somebody goes into Walmart and buys a pair of these shorts, they're going to get a free flying car. Monica, is that and, uh, what's going on? They'll here? be walking and, uh, away with a free flying car with one purchase of booty shorts. It seems that the booty shorts were a hard issue. Were a hard product to push, and so this this. Uh, Ad campaign was developed. Okay, I, I, I see. Well, that that will probably stir some sales. And and I'll and I'll tell you what. At that price point, I would think people would go in there and buy those cars anyway. I, I'm I'm thinking about it. Uh, Troy, uh, w would you actually consider converting to a, a flying car? I, you know, I've always been told that I look wonderful in booty shorts. So I think at this point, um, I would make that leap. And yeah, I would be open to both booty shorts and a free car. Okay, so we've got a, 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 the new sponsor is, um, their, their URL, I understand, is uh, bootyshortstoday.com. Um, so, can, I, can I interject something mm -hmm. in here, please? I would like to confirm that Troy looks great. And, Thank uh, you, Craig. I agree. Short. Oh, sorry, Glenn. That was Glenn. Uh, yeah, Glenn. Let's what, let's leave you all's personal lives out of the broadcast just for not, now. Not um, personal anymore. Uh, yeah, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, let's go to Brad real quick and Big kiss, um, Troy. and see see what what kind of updates he has on the technology. For one last shot at this because we're coming up on the end of the half hour. So, okay, so well, what last the, minute tips? Do you technology. There's going to be an iPad uh, 5 added into the plane as well. You can actually navigate and gives you directions as well in the plane. So it comes with an iPad 5. That is correct. That we is a great value. Yeah. Now, if somebody buys the booty shorts, do they still get the, the free iPad 5? Well, you can actually put the uh, iPad in the shorts itself and uh, wear it as an iPad. Uh, in the iPad as well, on the iPad as well. I didn't think of that. That's a good point. Wow, that is a heck of a bargain. Now, do now do they also get the iPhone Seven? Does that come with it, or is that something they have to bring themselves? They need to bring them by them themselves. The themselves. iPhone Seven, but the iPad yes. Five comes with it. Well, yes, it does. It does indeed. We've you got can actually wear the iPad itself. We've, We've got a lot of breaking news this evening, a lot of new products coming out, and that's why people tune in to Springfield News at 6, is this kind of breaking news. Now, one thing I do want to do before we wrap up here for the evening is I do want to check back with Peter 
because I'm getting a, a, a memo coming across my desk right now that that storm that we talked about um, that was 535 miles or so southeast of, uh, or was it southwest? South Regina. East, southeast of Cuba. Cuba. That that storm, that, that it may actually be developing into a tropical depression. Is that true? Uh, that is true. That storm has imbibed a lot of alcohol, and uh, it is starting to go through the, the first couple phases of, uh, of depression. Um, actually, right now, if uh, you'll bear with me as the uh, gentleman in the control booth show you here, this is the storm. Uh, it has began its, uh, its regimen of drinking and smoking, and uh, it, it is starting to uh, turn into a, a very big depression um, right now as the storm continues to develop. Uh, we will uh, we'll start to see some rain and heavy winds through the uh, uh, northern uh, Carolina. Okay. Well, well, we'll keep an eye on that, and I'm sure you'll have updates at 11 o'clock. And um, we're going to cut one more Actually, time. Actually, that, that's going to be at the uh, 6 a.m. broadcast. We're not going to be able to do that at 11. Uh, we've okay. got a, a strong story about ping pong balls and chipmunks. Okay, so that'll be 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, that's why we're, we pretty much broadcast around the clock, and you, you can always go to our website, uh, which is Springfield News at Six Live Sometimes dot com. So you go to that website. Who picked that URL? I don't know, but uh, let's let's cut to Troy here for one last wrap up. Do uh, you have any any tips? Uh, any has anybody been able to come with any other breaking news to you? You want to share? Yeah, yeah, there was actually just recently I received the most breaking of breaking news um, where I was told this by a confidant at the NSA mm -hmm. that um, I can't reveal the news until 11 o'clock. Okay, so you've got, yes. you, 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 does it relate to our, our prime story, the, the flying cars, or is this something entirely new? It's it's about corn syrup and fructose to be used as fuel, but that that's as far as the okay. details can go. That's as far as you'll go right now. Okay, uh, well it's, that it's a big oil that company. is fantastic news. So we will we'll wrap the broadcast this evening, and uh, I want to thank everybody for coming in tonight. Right after this uh, this storm that we just all fortunately survived, and on a serious note, some folks did not. The flooding was 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 very severe up in the. Uh, eastern part of the United States and so our hearts go out to them and uh, stay tuned we'll be back at the same time same place at a later date and this will wrap this broadcast of Springfield News at 6 okay we're going to do a little round robin introduction here and um, Troy where can the uh, listeners find you on the internet shit <laughs> I don't want Maybe to on Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Is that dot com? Uh, dot com. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I didn't really want to open myself up there, but I, I guess. All right, b u i t e i d e a dot com. There we go. Very nice. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you. so while while Troy's trying to figure all that out. Uh, Peter, where can they where can they find you on the internet? Find me, uh, Peter. I'm talking to Peter. Uh, Peter. Peter, where can I'm, they find you? Peter? Right here. You can always find me in a hangout. <laughs> okay. And you want to give a URL? www.micropatrol. M I C R O P A T R O L. dot com. Okay. And Monica. Oh, uh, all the legal training that I got, I got off of the back of a cereal box. Okay. Um, and you can find me as M Monica on Google pl Plus. Okay. M Monica on Google Plus. Okay. And Glenn. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Glenn Rogers42. You can find me on Google Plus as, you know, Glenn Rogers. And my blog is Game View Fake Gaming News Print to Fit. Okay. And, Print to fit. I like and you can find me at craigship.com, and we're going to go over to Brad. How do they find Are you? you? Uh, yeah, on Twitter, Brad. I was on TechWebcast and TechWebcast.info and on iTunes. Thanks. Okay. Right. Okay. And um, I just... I'll, 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 plug, I'll plug myself now. Okay. I just saw Stephanie was coming in, but I guess she bounced back out. 
Okay, so Troy, go ahead. You can find me on Google Plus as Troy Daniel, mm -hmm. and you can find me on the interweb at biteidea.com. Okay, good. And um, you're just in time, Stephanie. We're just now wrapping up the broadcast. Uh, Hi, Stephanie. So, hey, Stephanie. Stephanie, how can folks find you on the internet? Here on Google Plus? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit of a Stephanie Van Pelt. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for coming in and, and participating in the broadcast. And we will do it again at 11 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow night. Cool. Same time. Are we going to see, see any kind of a uh, preview beforehand, or are you just going to throw it up there? <laughs> this is going up there, big guy. <laughs> Okay, well, they do call me big guy with those pants. <laughs> Shorts, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, yeah, that was great, Glenn, nice. Okay, so this They're is, this is a Thank wrap.